So I think with the loss of James Feldine and Jeremy Baker due to their graduation, uh, somewhat going to negatively impact the team. They're going to be losing valuable veteran players with experience and leadership skills, and this is obviously going to impact the team because when you have less experienced players filling in for those veteran players uh, that you lost, they're going to need a season or two to adjust to that change. Uh, hopefully players like Justin Ruddy, who was Northeast Conference Player of the Year last year, uh, will have the skills and experience needed to help lead and um, help out the inexperienced players uh, in the freshman and sophomore classes. Uh, but overall I think that there's enough drive and talent in the team that they'll be able to come together and help carry themselves to lead a successful season this coming year. I think that the leadership, the veteran leadership of Quinnipiac basketball could lead them to the NEC championship game today, but it also is going to depend on the fresher faces that are going to be there, probably coming off the bench for the to relieve the veteran leadership of the team because ultimately it's a team sport and it doesn't matter how many old veteran guys and older guys and seniors that are on the team, it's, it's a team effort so you need the freshmen, the sophomores, the juniors and the seniors all to work together to complete the goal of winning the NEC championship. I think one of the, the key players this year is going to be Justin Ruddy again playing to that caliber of, of another possible NEC player of the year and another Another uh, guy that's going to be really key is uh, James Johnson, who's a sophomore. And he's going to need to uh, be the right-hand man to Justin Ruddy in the game so they can win. Uh, the freshmen are going to need to come up and play, as well as uh, any other juniors and sophomores. So it's going to be a team effort.